Well, as you can see, this is not a particularly good start to a morning photo shoot. I'm actually on my way to Lake Bled, with the intention, or at least the intention was, to capture the sun rising over the Kamni Alps and the Karavanki Alps behind the island church on the lake itself. Now, the intention is to go up to the classic viewpoint of Oistritza to get this shot. But, as you can see, it's pouring with rain. Now, of course, last night I checked the Clear Outside app, which is the app that I use to look at the forecast. And, of course, the forecast was for high cloud, no medium to low cloud, which meant that the lake would at least be visible. But there would be 95% high cloud, with a small chance of rain. Well, <laughs> uh, I think they got that wrong but actually I'm not at Lake Bled yet so uh, I'm actually uh, halfway between Ljubljana and Lake Bled and usually the storm gets is quite bad in this area but chances are it might not actually be raining much in Bled so we're gonna see now high cloud is good if on the distant horizon it's clear and the Sun is visible but when I woke up this morning at 4 a.m. I woke to the sound of distant thunder. So I checked another app. Now this app I use is called the Storm Radar app and it's absolutely brilliant. So from this app I could actually see storms and heavy rain over the whole of the north part of Slovenia. But it also showed that it would clear away from Lake Bled towards sunrise. Now the problem was of course it also showed that it would clear off to the east which meant probably not much chance of the sun breaking through but you never know I'm ever the optimist so I packed up and I'm on my way there now to see if maybe I get any luck now the Sun is due to rise at 620 I awoke at 4 a.m. now you might wonder why I awoke so early well the simple reason is it takes maybe 30 to 40 minutes to drive to Lake Bled from Ljubljana. I also, because the, the car park that is right next to the starting point for the hike, has actually, they've actually hiked their prices. It used to be five euros per, per day, especially this time of year. It's now three euros per hour, 24 hours. So I don't park there anymore. I go and park at the um, train station up the hill. So from there, it's another 10 minute walk back down to the start of the hike. And the hike itself is about 20 minutes. And that hike is done, obviously. I need to get up there. Uh, I wanna get up there ideally one hour before sunrise so I can catch the blue hour, especially when there's uh, storm clouds like this because the blue hour could be very good. It might actually be my only option this morning if the sun doesn't come through so I at least want to get up there for for the blue hour with the chance of catching a good photo so all that means basically I'm looking at 20 minutes hike plus another 10 minutes down from the car park that's 30 minutes so basically I want to get there before 5 so I can get up there at 20 past 5 one hour before sunrise so that's why I left so early So this is the Storm Radar app and as you can see this uh, orange and red area is actually the area where I was driving through and the area just above Radovlica it's called this is close to Lake Bled. So you can see that there it's green it's not quite so bad and actually now I've arrived it's not raining in Bled. And you can also see that as we press the play button and scroll through the time we can see the storm's progress and you can see that the storm is actually moving away northeast. So that's a good sign. Oh, 
Okay, so here I am out for yet another sunrise photo shoot. I'm here at uh, Oistritsa. This is the viewpoint over Lake Bled in Slovenia. As you can see behind me, there is Lake Bled. Um, now, usually, the, cast, the, the, the castle, sorry. Now, usually, the church on the island there is lit at night and early in the morning. But for some crazy reason, this morning it's not, of all times. It actually happened to me once before when I was running a, a photography workshop. So, I don't know what the reason is, but I'm, I'm quite annoyed that they chose to do that tonight, or this morning of all mornings. But still, uh, the, the castle up on the cliff is lit, so I've been focusing mainly on the castle and the mountains right behind because there's some really nice light there at the moment. As you can see, the forecast was right. 95% high cloud and thankfully that 5% of clear skies was right over the mountains and it let some lovely warm light flood through onto the lake and conveniently over the island church. Which was exactly what I needed and as a consequence I got a fantastic blue hour shot. Sadly though, this was it. An all too brief shaft of light through the otherwise thick cloud at dawn. I got this. This was my best shot of the morning. After that, or soon after that anyway, the rip in the cloud stitched itself up and remained sealed for the rest of the morning. I waited around until 7.15, but nothing much else happened. So I didn't get the shot I'd gone there for, but rather than stay focused on my intended image, I had worked with the conditions and kept my photographic eye open for something else. And as a result, I got this great shot instead. So I had turned failure into success in a different form. But in order to get my uh, photo of the sun rising over the mountains, I'm going to have to come back on a clearer morning. Well, as you can hear, even at these ungodly hours, it's impossible to get this view to yourself. Oistritsa view is a very popular place with tourists and photographers. And at this time of year, especially throughout the summer and even now, it's September now, and uh, it's still pretty warm. And um, people are still coming up here to view this. Even though I hiked up in the dark, this group were already ahead of me. But I managed to speed up and get past them and secure myself a good spot. And as you can see, it's a beautiful clear morning. Exactly what I wanted. Well, actually not exactly what I wanted. I would have preferred a little bit more cloud, maybe just over the mountain peaks to the left or some high cloud perhaps. But that's just me being a perfectionist and I suppose beggars can't be choosers. The most important thing is it's clear and it's completely clear over the mountains where the sun is going to rise. And the sun is going to rise to the mountain peaks to the right. That conical shaped mountain there is Stožić. To the left of it is Kočna. And it's going to rise uh, around probably I think to the left of Kočna. So as you can see I've got a great morning for it. <laughs> 